Okay, good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 11.33 in the evening on Saturday, August 7th. Saturday, <clears throat> August 7th at 11.33 in the evening. And we have our uh, Saturday update for you here. We're going to go right over to 4.5. 4.5 earthquake hit northwest of Jakarta. And that showed up on this, uh, this peak right here in uh, Jakarta, Indonesia. A more significant peak is coming up there on the 9th. Let's get to go straight to the forecast. And uh, we're going to start with uh, Anchorage, Alaska, like we usually do. And uh, August 8th, looks like we get a, about a 4.5 in the Anchorage area on August 8th. And then about a 5.2 is possible uh, late on August 9th into the 10th in the morning. So pretty significant earthquake late on August 9th into the morning of August 10th. All right. And then in Bakersfield, we had that 3.6. Originally, the computers said 3.6, and they downgraded to 3.4, just southwest of Bakersfield on uh, August 6th. And we have a smaller peak here, 48% uh, risk on August 7th and 22% on August 9th, otherwise pretty quiet for the next few days. In Bakersfield and Koalinga, this peak here produced a 3.5, this one produced a 3.6, and this was coming up 40% risk on the 9th in the morning and 58% on August 12th, early in the morning. And El Centro is a different story. We had that 3.5 just south of El Centro on the 6th. And this peak is coming up on the morning of seven in the morning on August 9th, 92%. And this could produce a 3.0 to 3.7, 3.0 to 3.7 on the morning of August 9th in the El Centro Salton Sea area. And then a peak here on uh, August 11th, looks like about 73%. And uh, this one here is the most significant peak, and that could produce a 3.0, 3.5 on August 9th in the morning. All right, up in Eureka, Northwest California, we had a 3.2 in the morning of the uh, August 7th on this peak here. And uh, this peak is coming up on August 10th in the morning, and that could produce about a 4.0 in Northwest California. In Hawaii, a 3.5 earthquake is likely on August 10th in the Hilo, Hawaii area. On August 10th, that's right about noon on August 10th in Hilo, Hawaii, about a 3.5. And Los Angeles, we had this spike in risk here, which produced a 3.6. And now this is coming up on August 9th. I think the uh, similar to the peak, yes, in the morning of August 9th, 92% in El Centro and 63% uh, in uh, Los Angeles. So it looks like it's going to hit closer to the border or down near the Salton Sea on that uh, 3.0 to 3.7 on the morning of August 9th, which is uh, coming up on Monday morning, Monday morning. All right, and then in Reno, Nevada, this is that 3.4 that hit down in uh, Central California, and this spike in risk could produce a 3.5 on August 10th in the Reno, Nevada area. And Ridgecrest, the risk is pretty quiet right now. And they had uh, this 3.4 that hit west of uh, west northwest of uh, Ridgecrest on this spike in risk. Otherwise, it's pretty quiet after that in Ridgecrest. Salt Lake City, Utah, we had this spike in risk on the 7th, a uh, little smaller risk on the 8th, and then quiet after that. San Diego, California, both of these spikes produced, this one produced a 3.5, this one produced a 
and pretty quiet after that in the San Diego area, except for east of San Diego near the Salton Sea on the 9th here in the morning, uh, 3.0 to 3.7 is possible. San Francisco, we have the 3.4 on this peak here. We have 3.2 on this peak and uh, the north uh, of uh, San Francisco. Smaller peak here on the 9th and 63% uh, on the 11th and 62% on the 12th. So kind of a moderate risk there uh, on the 11th into the 12th of August. And Santa Maria. Santa Maria, this uh, northeast of Santa Maria, there was a 3.6 uh, on August 6th in the morning, and then uh, pretty quiet after that in Santa Maria. Seattle, Washington, we could get a 3.3 earthquake in uh, tomorrow morning, Sunday morning in the Seattle area. We'll look for that. Athens, Greece. This is a very, very significant peak coming up on uh, August 11th in the morning, and that could produce a 5.7 earthquake uh, within uh, 200 kilometers of Athens, Greece. So, uh, so close to Athens, Greece, we should get a 5.7 earthquake in the morning of August 11th. So Wednesday morning, August 11th, I believe that's Wednesday morning. Yep, August 11th is uh, Wednesday, and that's uh, about a 5.7 in the Athens, Greece area on the morning of August 11th. And then we have Indonesia's forecast, and it uh, looks like a significant earthquake coming up, about a 5.5 on August 9th in the Jakarta, Indonesia area. And you can see this uh, risk here on August 12th, a 6.0 earthquake is possible within 100 kilometers of uh, Jakarta, Indonesia on August 12th. Okay, we have a couple more here. Let's go to Lima, Peru first. Lima, Peru, this produced a 4.4 on this peak, about a 5.0 earthquake is possible near Lima, Peru on August 10th, late on August 10th into the 11th, right there at the late on August 10th near Lima, Peru. Taiwan has been, uh, pretty active. We had a 5.8 in this peak, a 5.3 in this peak. And this uh, spike in risk here on the 9th could produce a 5.0. And this one here on the 10th could produce a 5.0 in and around uh, Taiwan. A couple more forecast in uh, Tokyo and Sendai. Tokyo, this is a uh, peak here on the late of the 9th into the 10th. And that could produce about a 4.5. It's not nearly as strong as the peaks that have come um, before this with that 5.7 and so forth. But this is uh, the energy involved with this one is about a 4.5 late in the ninth into the 10th. And same thing here, late in the ninth into the 10th in Sendai. And another peak that's not showing up in Tokyo uh, should be up in uh, Northern Japan another 4.5 on um, late in the 11th into the 12th. All right, once again, in California, the largest risk in California uh, during the next few days is uh, on August 9th in the morning, about 92% risk. This could produce a 3.0 to 3.7 in the morning of August 9th down near the Salton Sea. All right, thanks so much for watching today. We'll try to keep you updated every day with uh, earthquakes and earthquake forecasts around the world. We are sticking with those cities for now that we have there, and we will be adding other cities in the very near future, but for those for now. And the most significant quake in the near future is the one on August 11 uh, near Athens, Greece. All right, have a nice weekend, what's left of it, and we'll talk to you again uh, tomorrow night. Thanks so much.